look behind me, I bet you're wondering where I am. Well, I'm standing on the short grass prairie of the Great Plains. And on the short grass prairie lives a very special animal. This animal makes its home here. It's called the black-footed ferret. Now, the black-footed ferret is special because it's endangered. In fact, we thought it was extinct twice, and then in 1981, it was rediscovered. That really kind of turned the conservation world upside down, because here was an opportunity to save a species that we thought was extinct. So right now we are at the National Black-Footed Ferret Conservation Center. It's in northern Colorado. Um, and we are just done with whelping and breeding season. And so now it is kit season here at the center, which means that we are looking after our ferret babies. Ferret babies are very cute. So they're called kits and they are super adorable, especially right about when they first start to open their eyes. You can still handle them to check on them and make sure they're healthy and move them around, but their eyes are just open and they're just starting to experience the wolves for the first time. And I think that's when they're at their extra cute stage, but they are all adorable. When the kids are born on day zero, they are uh, pretty much blind and helpless and completely dependent on their mother. Around days 30 to 35, they start eating solid foods um, and become a little bit less dependent on milk, which is all they've been eating up until that point. Between day 35 and 40, their eyes and ears start to open. And then by about the time they're 60 to 90 days old, they're already approaching being a two-thirds grown adult ferret. And by the time they're four months, um, they're pretty much 90% grown. So a typical day at the ferret center depends a lot on the time of year. Right now it's our busy season because we have so many extra ferret babies to look after in addition to the regular breeding colony. Um, so in the morning we come in and spend a large part of our morning cleaning and looking after all the kits and checking everybody to make sure they're healthy. afternoon we feed everybody. They get fed once a day or twice a day if there is a very large litter and they need supplemental feeding. And then in the afternoon we are just sort of catching up on other outdoor tasks. ferret that's going to be released out onto the prairie goes through a minimum of 30 days of preconditioning um, and basically what that means is we put them outside in an outdoor pen and they have grass and dirt and holes in the ground to live in and they learn to live in that burrow system and they learn to eat prairie dogs and to behave like a wild ferret should um, and that head start really just gives them a better chance at making it in the wild. I know many of you probably know about elephants and tigers, and we tend to know about animals that live all over the world, and some of those are really endangered, and that's important. But I want you to get to know the animals that make their home here, right in your backyard, in America. Get to know the black-footed ferret and the burrowing owl. They belong to you as Americans, and therefore it should be our responsibility, yours and mine, to take care of them. So next time you have a school report to write or you want to tell someone something about an animal that's special, look to one of our native species. <laughs>